Okay. The Truth Group, your little question to us atheists about the uh, worldwide flood. Well, I have news for you. Yeah. What you just showed us is actually evidence against your worldwide flood. And I'll explain why you know, as I go through things. Uh, the first thing, you're talking about these mountains of yours. 8,000 feet high over at Pikes Peak in Colorado. Uh, that's due to plate tectonics. The Earth's crust moves. We know this, we can measure this, and we can see how it was in the past. Thanks to uh, things like identical fossil groups existing in, on two different continents, South America and, and uh, Africa, for example. And we just simply look at things, and they do fit together sort of like a jigsaw puzzle. So we know plate tectonics occurs. And what happens with plate tectonics? It causes uplifts in many regions of the Earth. The uh, Colorado Mountains, and matter of fact, the entire Colorado Plateau, is a recent uplift. About, say, 170 or so million years ago. I'd have to check the actual numbers to be accurate, but you can also do that. Uh, the entire region that was a Colorado Plateau was underneath an ocean. It wasn't a flood ocean from the Noetian flood, it was simply an ocean, kind of like the one that we have off the coast here of San Diego. Just your normal ocean. It's just that the land at that time was not uplifted. Now, this uplift and recession cycle has happened many times in the history of that region. There's been, I think I remember counting somewhere around at least seven definitive cycles and probably more than that. So there's been mountain building episodes and then they've eroded down to nothing and become seas again. Or seas have infilled the area. We're currently in a uplifting period for the Colorado Plateau region, which is why it's so high. Uh, if you look at older mountains such as the Appalachians on the east coast of America, we find that those mountains, geologically speaking, are nearly worn, worn down to the gum. Uh, they're very flat, very worn down, they're almost gone. So plate tectonics explains how that region was once under an ocean and now is mountain now is mountains. Now the other thing I want to talk about is that dolomite, the limestone and the sandstone, which is held together by a calcium carbonate mineral, uh, which dolomite and limestone are also calcium carbonate minerals, and how that right there completely falsifies any idea that the flood occurred. Because calcium carbonate, well, when it forms, it releases 1,125 joules of energy. Now, I did some work for a video dealing with Venom Van X on this same kind of issue, and I actually did the math on some of these things. Now, this was in regards to the Grand Canyon region, a 100 by 100 kilometer, a square kilometer box containing, and in, in the depth of the Grand Canyon, about a mile deep, containing all that limestone. Now, that amount of limestone just in the Grand Canyon region, not even talking about the amount of limestone that would be added to it if we added your little Colorado region in here, um, would have produced, I have to excuse me as I look over at my notes, roughly 6.27 times 10 to the 13 joules of energy. That is 16 billion times the energy released by the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. That is enough energy Excuse me. Give me a second. That's enough energy to vaporize one tenth, one tenth of today's ocean volume. Now, six thousand or even ten thousand years is not enough time for that amount of energy to dissipate from that region. If those limestone formations that formed during a Novetian flood that happened between six and ten thousand years ago you would currently have been cooked to a crisp and your charred body would have pretty much disintegrated from the heat and you would be now part of the atmosphere. That right there completely falsifies the Noetian flood and the young earth hypotheses. 
and I'm using hypotheses to be very, very kind to your position. Uh, mythology is the more accurate term, but I want to throw it out there a little bit so that you can see how, if you take a look at it in a scientific view, your ideas just simply fail. So no, there is no evidence for a worldwide flood. What you've proceeded to show us, if you know anything about chemistry, geology, and just even high school level sciences, you can determine uh, falsifies your concept completely. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it was educational for you. And please do try to find other evidences for your biblical mythologies. Simply because uh, people like me, finding, you know, being able to falsify them actually lends to the knowledge of people around that watch these videos. And knowledge is always power even if it's the power to get rid of superstitions and to leave Neolithic or pseudo-Neolithic um, gods behind as you know people ought to really do in this world that is pretty much run by science, technology, and knowledge superstition is not needed anymore, and it's only a hindrance. Well, that'll be it for tonight. I actually decided to do this right before I went to bed, so it might be a little rough, but I hope everyone out there enjoyed it, especially you guys over at the uh, Truth Group. Uh, really start doing your homework, guys. You might not make such easily refutable claims. <laughs>